Hi, I am Jitbu Kaur from Jamshedpur. I like reading fiction, non-fiction and motivational books. I am grateful to the jury for selecting my piece and giving me a platform to reach out to the audience vocally. The topic that was given to the writers was unconventional friendship and my story's title was an everlasting bond. Let's start as I narrate the story. I hope you will enjoy it. It was an hour's ride in the metro to college. It was half past seven by my watch when I realized that I'll be late for the first lecture of the day. The queue at the station of the office going broke the morning silence. I entered the metro along with the group of people hustling each other. A messy hairdo at the head top, a short black colored top paired with a blue light jean did not make me look unusual from the recently passed out school student. Yes, I was new to the college, so I hardly had friends on the first day. However, there were few with whom I had minimal conversations from the past few days. My body rested upon the glass door, providing itself for the support to stand. As the train stopped at the third station, the first thing that I noticed is a girl about 5 feet 3 inches with a fair complexion who stood beside me as she managed to find a space. The journey had to be continued for the next 45 minutes. Later, I could remember that she had an open hairstyle and she was wearing a suit. She replied Lily upon asking her name and to my surprise, the talk continued for the rest of the journey. She was a year senior to me in a different college. We exchanged our contact numbers and soon we started to talk over the call. It was a month that we were conversing. However, it seems that we have known each other for years. Occasionally, we used to meet at McDonald's after the lectures and laughs along with the eateries resumed. We were not connected on everyday basis, but the connection was beyond words. I could recollect that it was a sunny afternoon when I got a call from Lily requesting me to meet. Her brittle voice made me realize that something unexpected has happened. I rushed to the place and I found Lily confused and upset. On insisting, she narrated the situation about her home. It was about a marriage proposal from abroad that was finalized by her parents. When I came to know, I too kept silent for a minute. However, deep inside me, I could feel that my friend was looking for mental support and cooperation. I made her comfortable and tried to understand her perspective about marriage. The dilemma that she was going through about her next unpredictable phase of life was common among the girls regarding marriage. We had a long conversation that day and she felt relaxed. As she completed her studies, she got married and we had a lot of memories together during duration. Now she has settled abroad, fortunate to have a life partner like her husband and a friendship that is special for both of us. Though we are miles apart, our souls are connected forever. A journey that turned out to be a blessing for me. Thanks a lot for listening to me and watching the video.